When you're being hunted by Central American drug cartels, the last thing on your mind is a future in welding. But somehow, Elmer Salazar found himself working a dream job welding the machines that lay down society's infrastructure. Next on Elevate Iowa, find out how Elmer made the leap. Welcome to the new Iowa. Elevated past old notions of manufacturing. Where manufacturing is exciting, clean, and a career worth talking about. The Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Grant paid for the state's 15 community colleges to focus on manufacturing in new and meaningful ways. And these are their stories. Elmer Salazar began seeking a way out of El Salvador at the age of 17. He set out for the United States with nothing in hand, only a sixth grade education and the desire for a better life. When I live from uh, my country, El Salvador, it's because uh, my life is a very danger over there. Um, we had uh, lots of game star of people like to steal other people and um, if they don't get what they want, they just kill the whole family or, or whatever. So that's why I came to the United States. Elmer snuck through the southern U.S. border, but was caught. The dire nature of his situation was unclear, and he was swiftly deported. But the gangs were ready for him, and Elmer nearly paid with his life. I go back to El Salvador, and then uh, when I go back over there, I start to get the same problems. I almost lose my, my life over there. Uh, I'm a Christian, and I try to help the, the youth over there, because the boys over there, they, they, they start to be involved with the gang star when they nine years old, eight years old. The, the old people just the little, little boys uh, to do stuff because the law not come against the little boys. They have a lot of experience to work with the youth. Um, they have like a program to rescue the boys. And when I started doing that in town, so that's why the gangs start come against me because they think I'm still their people. And that's, that's why uh, I, I'm very dangerous. I think if I'm not here, I'd be, I'd be dead right now. Elmer finally made it into the United States again. This time his case was more clear. For his safety, he was permitted to stay, but a new trouble emerged. Low on both education and adequate language skills, how would he survive? I worked for nine years for a farmer. Uh, I have a friend and, and he's a welder too, and one day uh, we're talking about to get a certificate or something to be a welder and we talked and after three months he found a paper news about this program here in uh, Iowa Central and he called me and gave me the number and I called the number and talked to uh, Lindsay and Melissa, they take care of the program and I quit from that job and I decided to dedicate my time just to get a uh, program here in, in the college, Iowa Central. You could tell he was going to be a very hardworking guy and dedicated because he did go through all that background story and he quit his job in order to come to school. Um, so that was very neat and I personally don't know if I could ever do that quit my job and go to school and so he called at the last minute wanted to really get into this program so we gave him a chance and he showed us that he he came to class early he'd come an hour two hours early um, put in extra time for homework call us if he needed help put in extra tutoring time um, so he was just very good and after that I start see the companies and what company I gonna work and I see Gomeco and I fill it up, the application, they, it's just a couple hours and they, they call me and they offer me a, a job over there. Gomeco is a manufacturing facility making curb and gutter machines, paving machines, bridge deck finishers, canal machines. The word Gomeco comes from Goverson Manufacturing Company. There is a need for advanced manufacturing uh, skill sets. Uh, we're working more towards automation all the time and so the company automation, you gotta have skill sets that uh, fall right in line with that. 
Elmer's journey had been a long and treacherous road. His time at Iowa Central Community College was a reprieve and a good preparation for the final challenge between him and a career. Could he weld at a manufacturer's pace? When Elmer came in, I'm usually the one that actually gives them their, their what we call a evaluation test. And that's basically just a fillet weld, just like what we're seeing here. Uh, and we, we kind of just look at what the results are and see how they, what they're doing there. And if they're within an acceptable range, we expect them to score over 93 times. So, and he was able to do that. So we knew he had a really good base and the school had done a really good job uh, educating him on the basics of what he needed to watch, where he needed to hold his gun, what angles, those kind of things. Tremendous value of having trained at the college level, the community college level. We're in uh, touch with all the community colleges in the area and uh, areas that we see needing welding, robotics are big uh, going forward. And so anytime they have that training coming here, uh, it makes that learning curve when they get to go make a very short. The pride Elmer takes in his work is now only eclipsed by the pride he takes in his family. There's a many things about this country that make me grateful. I live in a beautiful state with my beautiful wife and kids, and I work for a company that makes machines to help build the roads that people drive on. Elmer and his wife proudly raise their two children, knowing that his career allows him to provide. He also works alongside his two nephews, who he helped to get jobs at Gomeco. You know, he's probably living the American dream, uh, if you ask Elmer. We're very pleased he's part of our team here at Gomeco. I work hard for my family so that we can build a good life. We go on vacation and spend time together because I am working for a great company.